Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q2 of the weekly contest 333. Uh, minimum operations to reduce and then digital to zero. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. So, first of all, this one was kind of hard. You see, like, even on the leaderboard, you see a lot of people with, you know, uh, uh, you know penalties and time scores. So, this one was a, little, eh. a lot of people also just doing that cheating thing. Um, but, but in any case, um, I think to be honest, I did. Uh, so yeah, I, I spent about thirteen minutes and and a wrong answer. I kind of actually did know how to do this um, the correct way, but I I, I just didn't want to prove to myself, right? Uh, so let me show you my first ex uh, answer, which was a time limit answer. So basically, this uh, time limited because I did a, a breath first search. Um, I thought that you know. Um, this will only do at most like a million or two million, depending how you count it, operations, which I guess is a, just a little bit too slow given the number of inputs that they have. Um, for certain, certainly that if you have one input, it always runs fast enough. It's just that there's no way for someone to know whether, um, or there's no way for me to know how many test cases there are, right? And with, without knowing how many test cases there are, you know, it's uh you know it's a little bit sad um so this time limited and then i was forced to kind of go using my greedy algorithm um which which actually worked but like i said i wasn't sure that it was going to be good enough but the idea behind the the, the greedy algorithm and I'll, I'll illustrate with some ascii art here is that okay let's think about the numbers a binary number of course something like this right then what do you want to do right well, at every step of the way, you can always just remove all the ones. So then that's just the number of bit count. In this case, there are 10 or 9, something like this, right? And then in a greedy way, the thing that I was thinking of is going from right to left. What if we add a 1 to the digit? And then what would happen, right? And the thing is that you only want to do it if there is at least two ones in a row. Because wh why do I say that? Because basically now, if you have, let's just say you have a... I'm just doing another one. Well, you have someone like this. Um, if you add a one to this place, then what happens, right? Well, then now you flip to someone like this, and then you could do it again, right? Or maybe let's just say there's another one. But then what happens is that let's say you have someone like this, um, and then you convert it to someone like this. Well, this is obviously less, right? Because now this this is two steps, and th th uh, subtracting three things would be uh, three, right? And in the in the base case of if you just have someone like this, you have three, if you add one, you know, so it's two to two, right? So in the worst case, you don't make the problem worse. So that's basically um, how I solved this one is using this greedy thing um, is that I, I even kind of wasn't so sure. So I did this best thing um, and I kind of implemented a little bit lazily, but but that's basically the idea is that, okay, I can work this to, um, to an array of ones and zeros. And then every time I just take the smallest digit uh, or like the least significant digits, the one that is the least significant, and then add a one if there are um, adjacent ones, right? Um, if they're adjacent ones, you add you, and then we just count that as one uh, one move, and then and then I just add the changes you go to true so that we kind of keep going, right? Um, and then this one, I just basically propagate uh, this. I probably could have done it here actually. I don't know why. I did it. Um, but yeah, I propagate all the all the ones all the way up. Like if there's a two, then and you know you do the carry thing, and then you know you. You, you increment and carry and then you slide and shift and all these things, right? Um, and then here, the sum of the, the thing is just the number of ones in the in the digits and then you add the count. I don't think this is necessary. I think that this is good enough at the very end, but but I, I was just like, ah, why bother taking a risk? So then here, um, I, I just added this count and then if something changed, meaning that we added a one in the past, then let's do it again. Let's find this, the second one um, that goes in here. This loops will happen at least, uh, oh sorry, at most something like 20 times uh, or like 17 or 18 or something like this. So this loop will only have happen 18 times. This is only 18. So it's going to be 18 squared, which is, um, you could say, 
uh, d square, where d is the number of digits, a uh, number of binary digits, which is at most 18 or 19 or whatever. So, so yeah, so th that's the complexity, and this is o of d square, where d is the number of digits. Um, and that's in time, and in space is all of one or all of d, depending you want to say, because uh, best is technically um, the same size as n, right? So um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so this is linear in that sense. Linear linear space quadratic time, because that's the size of the input. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, um, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest. Now, hopefully I didn't make a silly mistake and I did it, thankfully. Subtract, uh, add or subtract the power of 2 from n. Right. Mm. Okay. I have some ideas, but... Bit count. Mm, and then I think you can also flip if you could add like if you have to something like this, then you can just add ten and then subtract one of the other ones, right? So how would that work? Mm. Hmm. I know BFS, is that too crazy? Ten do 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 like oh. okay fine. It's beeping. I don't know what it is. But, uh, okay. This one is kind of hard to prove. That's why. I feel like you could do digits on the ones or something like this. But even then. <clears throat> um, okay, fine. Just go for a search. to the 10 is a thousand or 20 this may be a little bit yucky to be honest you see 2 to the 15 maybe I want to be precise on this one 2 to the 16 uh, no, 2 to the 17 okay fine then 20 is probably fine then um if Hmm. 
beautiful. So one is one. What is thirty nine? Three. Hmm. That's actually not good. Zero. Hmm. Forty. It does not. I am an idiot. because it also does not do subtraction. this negative maybe you can maybe I don't I shouldn't do this I don't know though I'm spending a lot of time on this one let's YOLO submit if it times out then I'm gonna be sad hmm hmm not that many people got this one well tell me Oh, this is pretty bad. Uh, Quite right, but then basically what we want is oh, this is like kind of hard. Only 16 people got it, and I've got it wrong. Um, yes, we have a string in. The idea is greedy, but um, okay, fine. Is the case, then we want to add one, right? Maybe. Um, oh, this is binary. We want binary, Larry. Yeah, oh, whatever. What are we doing? Now basically what we want to do is for right. 
if x sub i is equal to 1 and x sub i plus 1 is equal to 1. Um, we want to We want to add one here then, right, and then propagate. Hmm, maybe it's just something like a while. I could do this another way, but I don't know. Basically, the idea then now is that now we propagate. So for Something like that. Hmm, that's not quite right, is it? Uh, okay, so then now, so this is 39, it adds one, right? So now it gets to 101. That is just three. But then now it gets to one. Why? Oh, 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 oh. I am dumb. Okay. Yeah, what a silly problem. I'm so far behind. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm and my explanation and everything and whatever. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for today. So let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good health, uh, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.